good morning students please take your uh, history book and in that you find the civic section and open page number 123-24 today we will discuss about the Gandhian principle under the directive principles of state policy and uh, to tell you that uh, Gandhian principle has been uh, incorporated into the directive principles of state policy uh, with the policies with the the ideas ideologies of Gandhiji which he saw in the face of village uh, that India is the land or the country of villages in India most people live in villages and they are not well off they are not educated they have no um, better living quality and so he saw the villages very very backward due to the very many social evils there were many social evils crept in villages that confined them into the the uh, village uh, community so some principles that he has laid down for the betterment betterment of the villages for the improvement of the villages which are incorporated in this directive principles of state policy number one is that the state should provide free and compulsory education this was incorporated only as the the suggestions as the directives as the direction to the state and the central government but today since uh, 2009 this has become an act no it has no more act now it is a law that all the children below the age of 14 are supposed to get compulsory free and uh, free education that means uh, all the children of india should be educated under this law and so nobody should be deprived of the education next one is the state should put an end to the exploitation of weaker section especially the scheduled caste scheduled tribe and other backward classes of people that means uh, people should be fairly uh, fairly dealt with when the state government or the central government make the the policies of the welfare policies especially they should incorporate all these things that is nobody should be exploited nobody should be forced to do any act no harassment to the weaker section of the people by doing so people those who are not developed they will improve their lives and they will have a quality living so as villages are improved that means country is, is improved villages developed means country will be developed this is the ideology of the gandhiji next one is a step should be taken to prohibit alcoholic drinks which is injurious to health people people die due to the uh, the the uh, drinks alcohol they drink poisonous alcohol they drink and then they die recently in haryana more than 20 people died by consuming because they had consumed the poisonous uh, alcohol and so that has to be banned in the villages also that is gandhi says the state should uh, improve the nutrition level of the living people of the uh, standard of living of the people that means uh, they should have good food next one is the state shall uh, promote cottage industry 
See, everybody should have job. If it is uh, not the, the uh, what called the government job or high job that is in the office and all that. No, people need to be there. They do. They need to do their own um, uh, uh, what called job in their own houses. That is the, that kind of industry, that kind of work is known as cottage industry, which they, uh, they do remaining at a home. Next one is the, the, the speci specific measure should be uh, taken or adopted to promote agricultural and animal husbandry. Animal husbandry means rearing and caring, rearing and caring of the animals. That is known as um, animal. Here agriculture also has to, because these people, they are in the villages. Most people, they are in the villages. If they improve upon their agricultural work, improve upon their animal rearing, then it will bring them good living. They will have good income and then they will be educated. They will have job and all that. So if the villages are improved, country also should be improved. Next, village panchayat having the power of self-government, self-government should be organized and empowered. Not only organized, it should be given, power should be given to the uh, self, uh, village uh, panchayat to run, to look after their own villages. And so panchayati, panchayati raj system has been developed. Now they have uh, give, been given a lot of powers in the village to run their own village communities. And so slowly uh, things are improving, but it is very slow. Why it is very slow? Because of the uneducation. This is uh, illiteracy. Illiteracy is the male. So that is the high priority has to be given to the education. And so Indian government today has made the law that all should be educated. Next one is the general principle that is, uh, that, I, is, that is applied for everybody, irrespective of caste, creed, gender, uh, social background or religion, nothing. It is for all. The state should take, play, uh, take steps to safeguard the environment of the place, forest and wildlife, so that and uh, reduce pollution. These are the things that uh, four things here. Take care of the environment take care of the forest, take care of the wildlife and then take steps to uh, reduce pollution. That has to be done by everybody and especially it is the duty of the government both in the state as well as uh, in the center. Monuments, places of historical and artistic importance should be protected for the uh, from uh, spoiling it, disfiguring or destroying or removing. They should be taken care because they are our national heritage. Our national heritage, it brings a uh, good income and it brings also the, the uh, what call um, foreign economy. And so they are our heritage and people they go and write over their speed over they remove the steal and take the things all these things are the because they are illiterate, they don't understand, you know. And that is uh, once they are literate, they are disciplined, they are learned what is this. Illiteracy doesn't mean only reading and writing. They should be educated. Even if people are not uh, literate, if they are educated, they will understand the meaning of all these things. And that is what the Gandhiji um, the, the, the meant for all this. Every citizen should have an equal opportunity to be able to seek justice in the court of law, whether they are uh, any community they belong to. Everybody should be given the social justice, economical, uh, so uh, justice and all that. Civil court should be available to all citizens throughout India. That's why right? it is court is open for all. State should promote international peace and amenity. That means peace, peace and prosperity. Uh, here meaning, uh, so there should be peace among the uh, nations, different countries. It should maintain honorable relationship with the nations of the world, and we do that. Our prime minister has been trying to maintain the good relationship with all the countries. It should encourage respect for international laws and treaties obligations and, and, and should settle international dispute and 
by arbitration that means by talk by by a peaceful talk not by fight and so there should be um, they, uh, they should obey the law that is uh, um, done during the in the treaty treaty means the contract between the countries we have got certain uh, contracts and then uh, that has to be um, uh, respected and obeyed this is all about the the gandhian principles next thing that i am going to discuss uh, in the next video is the impact of direct principles of state policy in our um, uh, country what was the the how it is helping us okay till then study well be safe